Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind is a 1984 animated film directed by Hayao Miyazaki. 1,000 years after the world ended in an apocalyptic event called the Seven Days of Fire, the world faces new dangers. The ever-growing toxic jungle is filled with dangerous spores that are lethal if breathed. It is also home to giant insects. Nausicaa, the princess of the Valley of the Wind, explores the jungle and uses an unexplained ability to communicate with the insects. She is determined to find a way for the insects and humans to coexist. The Tolmechians, a military state, seizes an embryo of a giant warrior, one of the living weapons that destroyed the Earth a millennia ago. The Tolmechians conquer Nausicaa's home, killing her father and subjugating her people, hoping to unite the world under one rule and destroy the toxic jungle with a giant warrior. The people of Pejit, another neighboring city-state, vow to crush the Tolmechians inside Nausicaa's home, but this will also destroy her occupied land. The Pajit military lures a herd of insects with one of their young. The Tolmechians' great warrior is ineffective in stopping the entire herd. Nausicaa saves the young insect, earning the herd's trust. They heal her wounds, and the day is saved. The Pajit remain in the valley to rebuild, the Tolmechians retreat, and a sprout grows in the underground lair of the toxic jungle, signifying that a non-toxic future may be possible for the people of the valley. The toxic jungle is called the Sea of Decay or Sea of Corruption in other translations, but for the sake of uniformity, the term toxic jungle will be used here. Environmentalism from a philosophical viewpoint can be summarized with this question. What obligations do we have to our natural environment? Various religions have God-given or God's-given answers to that question. This is sometimes called stewardship, the theological belief that we, as humans, are responsible for the earth. Tu Bishvat is a Jewish holiday, the New Year of the Trees. In modern Israel, the day is celebrated as a kind of environmental awareness day and trees are planted in celebration. Christian stewardship refers to the responsibility that Christians have in maintaining what God has given them. In Hinduism, the Pancha Mahabhutas, or the Five Great Elements, creates a web of life. A more secular view of environmental philosophy is to simply answer that we will be lost if we do not control our actions towards our environment. This is referred to as anthropocentrism. This refers to an ethical framework that grants moral standing solely to human beings. However, many claim that is wrong. Philosopher Peter Singer famously wished to extend moral standing to non-human animals, stating that the ability to feel pain or pleasure indicates sentience. All the arguments to prove man's superiority cannot shatter this hard fact. In suffering, the animals are our equals. For some philosophers, superiority does not create fewer moral obligations. It follows that it may even create greater superior obligations. Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind does not take the positions of anthropocentrism and opts for something resembling animism, the concept that everything has a spirit, that nature is a part of us, and that we are part of the lives of non-human animals. We actually see this a lot in Miyazaki's filmography. He portrays worlds in which humans and the spiritual world are connected, worlds in which humans and animals are connected, worlds in which humans and nature are connected. Generally, his films showcase an Earth in which everything is intertwined on an emotional and spiritual level. Humans are not granted the Earth to use as they please by God, and they are not given stewardship over his creation either. Humans are simply another consequence of nature in Miyazaki's films. The film also rejects anthropocentrism. Nausicaa cares deeply for the insects. They are at times the harbingers of death, and at other times the key to life. Nausicaa, both the film thematically and the character actively, grants moral standing to non-human animals. Their importance, their lives, are just as integral to the world as the human beings' lives. In the film, the trees of the toxic jungle evolved to purify the earth of all the pollution that humans made. The trees absorb the pollution so that it becomes inert. The insects evolved to guard the toxic jungle. It will take centuries for the trees to cleanse the earth, which means the humans are unwilling to cohabitate with the insects for that long. 
In the film, the trees are connected to the actions of human beings because they changed to cure pollution that was man-made, and the animals changed to protect the trees. Nausicaa believes in the value of life, whatever form that may take. Environmentalism need not be entrenched in myth and supernaturalism, of course. Protecting the Earth benefits ourselves because an atmosphere that is inhabitable to humans is not in any human's self-interest. However, fiction and fantasy can be more persuasive than hard facts. After all, hard facts have not yet been enough to persuade everyone about ongoing environmental threats to humanity and nature in general. The name Nausicaa comes from the Odyssey. Nausicaa in The Odyssey was said to take delight in nature and have a receptive personality. The film's Nausicaa obviously is a caretaker of nature, and her personality is able to transcend the limitations in communications among species. Any Christian imagery is apparently accidental. Nausicaa being a kind of foretold savior who seemingly comes back to life was not intended to represent Jesus Christ. Although many Christians see this in the film, bear in mind that Christianity accounts for about 1% of the population of Japan. An undercurrent of Buddhism and Shinto, however, flow throughout the film. The Buddhist roots of evil are shown in the film, greed, ill will, and delusion. Fear of the toxic jungle and insects is what drives the conflict between Talmekia and its neighbors. This results in greed over who should own the great warrior and ill will towards various people. Shinto, Japanese native religion, is seen in the film as well, as the religion insists on honoring nature. Trees, mountains, the water, animals, and humans possess kami, or spirit. Nausicaa's respect for all nature seems to be rooted in Shinto. The decision to make the animals these grotesque insects is a curious one. The film says that the environment must be preserved for both humans and animals, even if these animals are not the cute and cuddly variety. This is Miyazaki's most outright and unambiguously environmentalist film. It's no great surprise that it was supported by the World Wildlife Fund for Nature, but that is not everything that the film expresses. <laughs> The danger of nuclear proliferation is consistently highlighted in the film, the great warriors being the obvious stand-ins for nuclear weapons. Miyazaki's films often contain anti-war sentiment. In Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind, two competing nations struggle over weapons supremacy. Each desires access to the great warrior while the rest of the world watches in horror and tries to get them both to stand down. I'm going to assume we're all on the same Cold War page here. Tolmechia believes it must use the Great Warrior in order to ensure the safety of humanity, and Pajit believes it must destroy Tolmechia and anyone in conquered Tolmechian territory to ensure that this does not happen. Both have violent militaristic goals with a lot of collateral damage, and each nation thinks itself entirely justified. In the end, neither of their war plans work out. Princess Kushana of the Tolmechians uses the Great Warrior, this doomsday weapon, against the insects, but it is not enough. The people of Pajit eventually throw down their arms and help the valley rebuild. Only Nausicaa has the right idea, she seeks a peaceful solution to the conflict. She takes care of the insects rather than demonizing them. She works towards a habitable world between the humans and insects rather than attempting to destroy the toxic jungle endangering everyone in hopes of a greater victory. Japan understands the devastation of nuclear weapons more than any other country. It is the only nation to have been victim of nuclear weapons during wartime. Japan has been reticent for a long time to create a powerful military, not to mention being constitutionally barred from doing so. In recent years, Japan's military has been growing again, blamed on shifting security dynamics in the region. Miyazaki has spoken out against this, in spite of the obvious backlash that would create in his own country. Even the scenes of violence in the film are not sensationalist. There is no joy in the violence, it does not glorify warfare. In the film, war is terrifying. Lord Yupa is called the greatest swordsman in the world, but when he is forced to draw his blades, he always uses them non-lethally to end a dispute. He stands between Nausicaa and someone she is trying to harm. He quells an attack on himself without cutting anybody's throat. 
Even the violence of the film is anti-violence. Nausicaa tries to solve problems with science and diplomacy. Many characters in the film have shades of grey to them. Nausicaa is strong and brave, never a damsel in distress, which is true of a lot of Miyazaki's women protagonists throughout his filmography, but she also violently loses her temper. The villainous Kushana mistakenly believes what she is doing is right. The people of Pajit believe their ends justify the means. Asbel has conflicting feelings and changes allegiances to help Nausicaa. This is not a failing or a muddying of the issue, though. Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind simply acknowledges that the world is not cast in black and white. That would be too simplistic for this director. But the anti-war stance, on the other hand, is non-negotiable. Another war with nuclear weapons is not a matter of black and white. It's life and death. Hi everyone, if you like what I do, consider clicking on the orange Patreon link below. That's how this show happens. It's also a way for you to request an episode, so check it out.